Hello. In this lesson we're going to talk about vector projection. This concept we've already approached in the previous lesson when we talked about a dot product and that's why I'm going to start exactly where we left off in the last lesson. So if we have these two vectors a and b in the tail to tail configuration and these two vectors form an angle theta, the way we can determine the angle theta is by making use of that definition of the dot product between two vectors but rearranging it so that we can uh, determine the angle when we already know the vectors. You can use this formula cos theta is the dot product between a and b over the product of the magnitudes of a and b. You recognize this is the definition of the dot product just rearranged for uh, determining the angle. This is not a formula that's important to be memorized, it's just important to know that you can use the definition of the dot product to determine the angle between two vectors when you know the vectors. Anyway, we want to talk about vector projections. Let's see how we can do that. On this diagram I'm going to consider the projection of vector b on a and pay attention to the notation I'm using and the way it's being read. Now for a projection of a vector b on a I'm going to write this way is equal to the magnitude of vector b times cosine of theta times a over magnitude of a. Or we can use this other no notation. So I'm going to write projection of vector b on a is going to be is going to be the dot product between b and a over the dot product between a and a all multiplied by vector a. Although obvious, let me just say that the projection of a vector on another vector, it will result in a vector. Notice that this portion represents the magnitude of your vector, while this a over magnitude of a is the direction, this basically is the unit vector in the direction of a, and we're going to see in a moment how I determine that. First form for the projection of a vector b on a it's uh, useful when working with geometric vectors. The second formula that I gave you, it's useful especially when working with algebraic vectors. In order to show you that the projection of uh, vector b on a is the expression I gave you here, let me uh, denote these vertices with letters a, b, c and d, so we can refer to them a little uh, easier. So now I can say that the vector a, d is what I'm looking for, the projection of uh, vector b on a. Then let's see what cosine of theta is in this triangle a, c, d. Cosine of theta is the adjacent side over hypotenuse and in this triangle a, c, d in particular is a, d over a, c. But since we work with vectors I'm gonna say the magnitude of a, d over magnitude of b. That's why the magnitude of AD is equal to magnitude of B cosine of theta. Now if I replace this AD with a new notation I just uh, introduced, projection of uh, B on A, but the magnitude of it equals to the magnitude of B cosine of theta. But all I did so far is I found the magnitude of this projection. However, this projection is a vector, so only the magnitude is not all we need. What we need, we need a direction as well. AD is a vector in the same direction as A. So what we need is to find a unit vector, one that is in the same direction as A. Let's see how we can determine something like that. What I'm trying to find next is a scalar multiple of A, because we know that a scalar multiple of a vector is collinear with that vector. So I want to find a vector ka which has a magnitude of 1. That would be a unit vector in the same direction with a. Well this absolute value of ka it's uh, we know we can say absolute value of k times absolute value of a and reorganizing this expression I can say that the absolute value of k is 1 over the magnitude of a. But since our projection points in the same direction as vector a, then 
we don't want to change the direction from what it is therefore this k has to be positive so we can say k equals to 1 over magnitude of a in the previous chapter when when we talked about multiplying a vector by a scalar we clarify this situation so the unit vector in the direction of a it's actually 1 over magnitude of a times a or the vector a divided by its magnitude this is basically how you represent the unit vector in the same direction with that particular vector that's why the projection of b on a is equal to magnitude of b cosine of theta which is the magnitude times the direction uh, given by the vector a divided by the magnitude of a that was all uh, very nice and clear however we only discussed the situation when a and b form an acute angle theta so between 0 and 90 degrees only but what happens if we have a situation like this where the angle between a and b is an obtuse angle so if theta is somewhere between 90 and 180 degrees then let's see what happens with the projection of this vector b on a on the diagram you can see it's represented by the red vector so I'm gonna write on it this red vector is the projection of b on a obviously it's in the opposite direction than a let's uh, denote the vertices again with a b c and d and try to find again the magnitude of this projection of b on a using trigonometry so I see that it's going to be the magnitude of b times cosine of this angle which is 180 degrees minus theta we know that cosine of 180 degrees minus theta is minus cosine of theta therefore I'm gonna continue here to say it equals to minus magnitude of b cosine of theta so you see the magnitude it's actually the negative of the same expression that we had before when angle theta it's an obtuse angle if we determined earlier that the vector a over magnitude of a is the unit vector in the same direction with a then the negative of this expression is going to be the unit vector in the opposite direction to a so if now we take the two expressions the magnitude and the direction vector and we put them together to determine the projection vector we are going to determine that projection of a vector b on a is let's use the magnitude it was minus the magnitude of b cosine of theta times minus the vector a over the magnitude of vector a so that was your magnitude that was the magnitude and direction but these two negative signs cancel each other out so the result is going to be magnitude of b cosine of theta times vector a over the magnitude of vector a so regardless of the values of angle theta the projection of a vector on another vector has the same expression but you have to pay attention to the magnitude let me write down the formulas that you can use for uh, determining the magnitude of this uh, projection vector and we're gonna have the two situations if angle theta is an acute angle between 0 and 90 degrees the magnitude of the projection of b on a is going to be the magnitude of b cosine of theta or let's use the, the other format that's going to be useful for algebraic vector the magnitude of the projection of, of a vector b on a is going to be the dot product between a and b over the magnitude of a this is how you can determine the magnitude of a projection when you have the vectors given in an algebraic format it's a lot faster this way and uh, the other situation when uh, we have an obtuse angle so theta is between 90 and 180 degrees the magnitude of the projection of b on a is going to be minus magnitude of b cosine of theta if your vectors are given uh, in an algebraic format then the magnitude of the projection of b on a is going to be minus the dot product between a and b over the magnitude of a 
So pay attention for the magnitudes to use the appropriate sign, depending on the angle between the two vectors. What happens if angle theta is 90 degree exactly? Well then the projection of uh, B on A is going to be the zero vector. And once again you can see how that works out on a diagram or even easier algebraically you know that cosine of 90 degree is zero. So that's why the projection vector is going to be a zero vector as well. I'm going to conclude the lesson here. Thanks for watching.